Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is my most favorite video so far and I'll tell you why. Because this is one of the most important ingredient in your skincare, which a lot of you would be forgetting. But I want to talk about it today. I sat down, I wanted to film this for a very long time. Today I'm going to show you the most important part of your skincare, which I see a lot of people forgetting and not giving as much importance. And that is applying a good sunscreen. Guys, firstly, let me break it down for you. Sunscreen is not a beauty product. Yes, it has its beauty benefits but it is much more than that it's a skincare product it is very very important for you to use a sunscreen on a daily basis it is recommended by dermatologists if you're taking care of your skin you're applying great serums great moisturizers great toners etc you are putting it all down the drain if you're not applying a sunscreen so today i'm going to show you my most favorite sunscreens of all times some of these are new launches and trust me guys Sunscreen is one product that I can say with confidence I have tried from so many brands. And I mean from high-end to drugstore to all the sorts of mid-range and high-range uh, brands. And the ones that I'm going to show you today are the ones that are my absolute favorite. And I'm going to talk about two different ranges. One which is of course the face sunscreen and the second range which is the body sunscreen. So similarly I've broken down and I'm going to tell you what is the kind of sunscreen you can use where? What is the best sunscreen? What are my favorite sunscreens? And this is essentially a video of the best sunscreens of 2020. So after this video ends, definitely make sure that you order a sunscreen and you're using it every single day. And on that note and a very long intro, let's dive right into the video. Now first, let me break it down for you. Why do you need a sunscreen? A good sunscreen helps maintain an even tone. It prevents discoloration, aging and dark spots on your skin. First, I'm going to talk about the body sunscreens, the ones that are my holy grails and the ones that I've used and reused many times. The first one that I'm going to show you is from Neutrogena. This is a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen with an SPF of 50 plus. Now that's how the bottle looks. It's a beautiful spray bottle and this is very widely and very easily available in India. This is an excellent sunscreen for the body guys. It is a pump bottle, very easy to use and if you're someone on the go, you don't like to apply cream based sunscreens, then this is your friend. You just have to spray it all over your body. You're good to go. This is four hours water resistant. So this is going to keep you going for four hours. So I feel that this sunscreen particularly is a very good if you're living in the city especially in India the sun is harsh here but it's not that bright yet so in the summers in 2020 go in for this sunscreen guys it's beautiful I'm going to take some at the back of my hand and show you the texture of this it's a very very light formulation and it gets absorbed in your skin super quickly what I like to do is I like to spray it on my arms when I'm wearing a sleeveless top or a backless top uh, even on my legs and it gives a very very beautiful sheen if you are someone who likes a very moisturized look or you know when you're wearing a sleeveless top or an off shoulder you like something that's uh, giving your body a very dewy kind of a very uh, you know shiny kind of a finish this sunscreen is very helpful for that I know that's a, a beauty tip that I'm giving you but if you do you see that sunscreen is super super shiny and this looks like this for almost about two to three hours very very easily however it is water resistant because i've tried and tested i don't even know how many bottles of this i've gone through love this sunscreen for body use and do you see that beautiful sheen it has left on my hand now this has a very slight fragrance of something and i've noticed this across neutrogena sunscreens that they have a very similar kind of a fragrance running through in all the sunscreens that you'll buy from uh, Neutrogena in specific. Also, I want to say that this has an SPF of 50, which I mentioned, which is a pretty good SPF to apply if you're living in the city or in fact, if you're even going to a beach, that's a very good SPF to have. The next sunscreen that I'm going to talk about is Nivea. This is the Nivea Sun Protect and Refresh Mist. This is a cooling sun mist, but actually is a sunscreen. And this comes with an SPF of 50. It is UVA and UVB protection. This is also water resistant, beautiful sunscreen guys. I bought this from Thailand. A beautiful sunscreen to use again has a spray mist on top and I'm going to take some at the back of my hand here. This spray is a little whitish and it's not uh, you know as shiny as uh, the Neutrogena one but it's a beautiful, very nourishing, very moisturizing sunscreen to use. 
Uh, I have the Neutrogena one beneath this, that's why it's giving so much sheen, but overall a great, great sunscreen to use, I would say. Beautiful SPF, uh, something that's sufficient for the city, even for the beaches, and uh, I think it is water resistant for about three or four hours. It doesn't say on uh, the bottle itself, but I've tried it, and I like to reapply it every three hours anyway. So, in fact, I recommend that, you know, you should reapply your sunscreen after every two and a half to three hours. That's the process one needs to follow. Now, I was in Australia very recently and I picked up a lot of sunscreens from there. The sun there is the harshest I have ever experienced anywhere. And it is, it is so hot when it, when the sun is out, it gets so, so hot. So you're not just sweating your sunscreen out. It is also that you can feel that the sun is hitting you so bad. My face on the first day became so warm and so red, even after applying sunscreen. So if you're in that part of the world, then you definitely have to apply, reapply your sunscreen like every one and a half, two hours, I would say. Also, we are living in India and the sun here is pretty harsh. So you need a sunscreen which has an SPF anywhere between 30 and 50. So a sunscreen that has a 30 or 40 SPF would also do the trick for body and for face. Guys, please excuse the background noise. There's a bit of a noise in my house because there's some construction going on in the building. So please ignore that. Now, moving on to the face sunscreens. I have four sunscreens for you and I'm going to show you in the order of preference. The first one that I have used it for the longest time is from Neutrogena. I can see there are so many Neutrogena sunscreens here. Clearly, they win there at the drugstore and a lot of other places, I must say. The first one that I'm going to show you is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, comes in an SPF of 50. I have the small tube, I always carry this in my bag. It's a beautiful sunscreen, has a 50 SPF. It is also water resistant for almost about 2 or 3 hours, like every other Neutrogena um, sunscreen that you have here. This is a cream based formula. This is a little more thicker cream um, than the other sunscreens that I showed you for the body. Obviously, it's a face sunscreen, has to be a little thick, but absorbs in the skin super quickly. Very nice, very light formula and doesn't leave any white cast on the skin. So works really well under makeup as well. And uh, this is a sunscreen that I use for a very long time. But now I'm, you know, like past that because there are other sunscreens that I love a lot more but a beautiful sunscreen to use overall. The second face sunscreen is the one that I'm a bit embarrassed to show you because of the state of the tube. This is from Suncross. This is their matte finish sunscreen in the SPF 50. You can see from the state of the tube how much this is used. It's misused and whatnot. It is a beautiful sunscreen, guys. It is matte finish, works beautifully under makeup. I have very little left and I've taken some at the back of my hand. I'm going to show you it has a very different texture to it and you will see this got absorbed in the skin in a matter of seconds you don't even see it after a while it's so soft so moisturizing with this sunscreen I would say if you don't even use a moisturizer you won't feel dry at all it just gets synced into the skin and with this I feel it makes a very beautiful kind of an even layer on the skin for the makeup to glide on top it also somewhere I feel acts as a bit of a primer so if you have open pores I have seen uh, with uh, me using this sunscreen that you know some of my open pores here got actually filled in and covered and it kind of blurred uh, the open pores so it works very very beautifully under makeup as well now this is also a water resistant sunscreen and this was recommended to me by my dermatologist so it's dermatologically recommended so are the others i would say and that's what's mentioned on the packaging of all the other sunscreens as well now this says is free from chemical sunscreen uh, agents and this apparently is suggested for kids starting six months onwards so you can figure out that how light and how uh, free of chemicals this sunscreen would actually be the fact that it's even recommended for babies over six months so beautiful sunscreen to use used it and loved it for a very very long time my next sunscreen and one of my most favorite sunscreens of all time is the la roche posay sunscreen this is the one with the thermal spring water comes with an spf of 60 this is an oil-free sunscreen now this is a uva uvb protection sunscreen it's their advanced technology dry touch sunscreen it's not matte but has a very beautiful cream like formula it's water resistant up to 18 minutes and this is beautiful for sensitive skin people and acne prone people it is absolutely amazing now this is fragrance free and also paraben free so highly recommend for acne prone people uh, let me show you the outer packaging. It comes in a packaging like this. Uh, obviously, La Roche-Posay is a bit premium and so is their uh, 
product and a bit is shown in the packaging as well now i love the product itself it is a beautiful sunscreen i've heard a lot of people say that this sunscreen flakes but not on me have a backup for this one and i use this a lot uh, mostly when i'm traveling and mostly under makeup this has a cream like texture and like it is said on the tube as well it has no fragrance whatsoever gets absorbed in the skin super quickly very very mild has a very beautiful texture leaves your skin smooth and the most important part of the story that it works beautifully under makeup and does not leave like you can see here any white cast my last sunscreen and my absolute favorite something that i have loved for almost three months now i use it every single day I have two backups of it, guilty as charged. And the sunscreen that I'm talking about is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Now this is a sunscreen which comes in an SPF of 50. It is obviously four hours water resistant like all of the other Neutrogena sunscreens and it leaves your skin non-greasy. It's a beautiful formula. The blue colored tube is something that's also very stunning. If you like the Hydro Boost range from Neutrogena, you're going to love it as much as I do. It's a beautiful gel-like formula. It's a white kind of a gel, white bluish kind of a gel, and it gets absorbed in the skin like water. Your skin is going to drink it up. It's so beautiful, so hydrating. And for all the oily skin people, for acne prone skin people, for combination skin type who do not like a sunscreen that's heavy on your skin, do you see how easily that got absorbed and it will work beautifully under makeup. This also I feel really works as a primer. I will apply this and not need a primer before going in with a foundation because it gives you a beautiful blank clear canvas. It also tends to fill in the pores here. I also tried this mixing with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. I took a pea size amount of this and mixed it with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel and it works beautifully on your skin. It doesn't, you know, sit on top of your skin like a layer. Your skin kind of just tends to drink it up and absorb it. If you guys remember, this also made to my 2019 favorites. I absolutely freaking love it. It's a beautiful sunscreen and I can go on and on about it. So guys, this is it for today. I hope you like this compilation of my most favorite sunscreens and the one to watch out for in the year 2020. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Do also share my video as much as you can. If you have any questions or comments for me, please do leave it in the comment section below. And until I see you next, love you all. Bye-bye.